I'm at 52 Masters Lane in Magnolia, Delaware, and we're on the back of the house over the, uh, I guess it's like an offset nook area. And uh, you're looking at the roof above that area. And what we have here is uh, a low slope roof that does not have any ice and water shield underneath it. That's felt paper, that's not ice and water shield. Uh, and the reason that's being mentioned is on the inside we have some wrinkled paint right in this corner and this corner being uh, oh, it's really both sides of the uh, corner let me just run in here and show you just coming in for a second you can see it's right here we have some uh, wrinkle joint tape and of course over here there's more of it and then down here is quite a bit of wrinkling. And then up top there on the ceiling itself there's a little bit of staining where the wall cavity meets the ceiling. And not so much on this elevation. This is pretty clean. I don't really see any evidence there. So. While I mention ice and water shield as a possibility, I'm not sure that's it because of the lack of staining across here. Really what I think it is, is you've got uh, a lot of details going on over here. Uh, you've got a little gable end, a little cornice jut out right here with some uh, channel up in there around that uh, and then you got a corner post, inside corner post comes down this way. And then you have a little shelf up there above the roof that then supports the corner of the main building. And these all line up with that problem. You know, so what I would suggest is a water test in this area, starting down here and working up so as to not contaminate results or uh, indications until we get some water inside. Now that, that's probably going to take at least a few hours, maybe all day, because you really don't have an attic up there that you can see before uh, uh, it gets through the living space. So uh, that's really the best you can do. Again, and it, also this face is north here. The front of the house is south, so we're facing north. Now I, I talked to uh, Mrs. Cessna about this, and they, they've only been here a year. And they think that uh, that this just happened in the spring, but they're not 100% sure. So this could be an old stain from from uh, quite a while ago. That's another consideration. So I've asked her to try to uh, continue to think about that. If there's any more information she can share, it might help. So she's going to, I guess, talk to her husband and let me know if anything else. Uh, can be uh, revealed or understood it would help identify what's really going on here but I think what you're looking at here to really truly know what happened with that intrusion is a water test right in this area here there's enough things here going on that a nor'easter you know something coming blowing rain this way you know we're, we're facing north here something spinning rain in this direction could uh, could light that leak up, you know, and then like I say, you've got that bigger corner post right there going all the way up, and it's not much on the ceiling. It's not much on the ceiling. It's just it looks like it's actually coming through the wall cavity. It kind of wicked into the ceiling. If you remember that stain, it's not like it started on the ceiling and came this way. It looks like it more like was coming in the cavity of the wall and went that way. So, you know, that would tell me it's something right in here. And that's what we got here.